dollars to sleep. Now, Deputy Speaker, how do you shield um, ministers from character assassination on the floor of the House <clears throat> under the guise of uh, privileged information or in a privileged space of what members can speak? Usually the standing orders require that if you make an allegation against any public servant or anyone in the House, you should be able to substantiate uh, your allegations. But, but someone has to require you on a point of order, I guess. Yes, somebody has to require you to substantiate. And the ministers but, are not there to raise But the, the minister can respond. The minister can request now that they have a time. I'm talking about like what transpired on Thursday uh, mm -hmm. with the lead of majority and what he says, mm -hmm. which is open to interpretation. Mm -hmm. The minister is not there to respond. If it's not factual, then yeah. the minister will be, can be able to ask for someone, before the committee yes. or even during the question time to say, I would like an opportunity during question time to defend to to defend myself, they'll be given the opportunity. Mm -hmm. But, and, and I, I don't think the leader of majority would say something that's not substantiated. And, and I'm happy that uh, this was raised. Unfortunately, when that was happening, I was in Wasingishu for the devolution conference and then with the Law Society conference too. Mm -hmm. So I was not in the house on that day. But this is something I feel very strongly about. And uh, uh, coming from, uh, from Wasingishu County, where most of the athletes come from, mm -hmm. It's very painful. I listen to them. Every time they've landed, the Boston Marathon champion, mm. the London Marathon champion, they have come to my home mm -hmm. here in Kitusuru. I've hosted them. Because no cabinet, no, the cabinet sector is not bothered. Never there. No one is there. It, 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 I'm the one who's hosting them in my house. If you look at my Facebook page, I've shown, I've hosted them for breakfast. They've sat through lunch. They've told me their challenges. And when they tell you the horror stories of what happens to them, yeah. they fly economy. The AK officials and the ministry officials Life are flying class. business class and first class. class. Sometimes they have a layover of 14 hours. Yes, yeah. sleeping at the airport. Yes, and even to just uh, and even just seeing the management of sports at the moment, it's it's a it's pain. Uh, if you look today, I want you. I I checked as late as yesterday. Mm -hmm. Look for the Talenta Hela app. It doesn't exist. They told us it was launched. Mm -hmm. It doesn't exist. Um, uh, the other day, when our team, I think they went to Tunisia for the beach games, yes. they were wearing fake uh, sports, sports uniforms. Uniform. They were wearing, I think it was fake Adidas yes. or knockoffs from River Road. Mm. Yeah. Uh, if you look at um, the team that went to Tobago, Trinidad Tobago, mm. again, they were wearing fake uniforms. It just asks you, by the time a country reaches a point where our athletes are wearing fake, fake. uniforms, mm. there is really something wrong. And there's something wrong with... There's something wrong with the management of uh, sports. When you get to the point that doping is rampant in the country, mm. yet I'm from Wasingishu, and I'm telling you, the chemists that issue these drugs to our young people are known. The coaches that issue these drugs are known. Unknown. Why is it that they've not been arrested? Investigations, I've been following it up personally. I've been following up the issue because none of those young people know about doping. They can hardly buy food or shoes. So there's no way they know about doping. So it's usually the coaches or the people around them who are providing these drugs and lying to them that it's, mm. not, uh, yeah. it's not doping. The supplements. Yeah, yeah, they tell them supplements and so on. And these kids don't know. They're very young. They're, they're, most of them are, have high, have not, never traveled in their lives. And these people are known. Mm -hmm. The anti-narcotics unit is in on it mm. because uh, every time the officers uh, have, have traveled to Eldoret and Elgeo, Maracuet and Nandi County to do the investigations, they are usually recalled. So the matter has never been concluded. Recalled by who? They are recalled back by the anti-narcotics unit. Units, yeah. The anti-narcotics unit is not bothered to try and investigate this issue. Today, I can tell you, and I have reported and it, it, this- Is parliament seized of this matter? No, I'm waiting for the day. It's one of the questions that I've put for the cabinet secretary when he appears before parliament. I have raised that question and I've said, I want him to come and answer. Because we have the photographs of the people in charge of the doping. We even got one person to agree to be a state witness mm -hmm. so that he could tell us who are the others. So it is possible in one raid in Elgeo, Marakwet and Wasingishu County that you can arrest mm -hmm. all those people involved in this doping. Any uh, of the, the coaches and the agents, if you're if your, your athlete has been found to have been doping, you should lose your license yeah. okay. because it's you who fed it. So this is such a serious problem. And I speak today, not as deputy speaker, I am speaking as somebody who is a leader in Wasingishu County because every time there's this crisis, 
people come to me. Mm. They come to my home. They come and tell me we have this problem. I have represented um, athletes who've been found to be doping pro bono, including uh, uh, what Rita, Rita, the, the Chicago Marathon mm. runner. Anna. We have rogue agents. I have money. I pushed that case until the the coaches and the agents were kicked out of the country. They're Italian. Mm. They were kicked out of the country, but within no time, they kept Athletics Kenya brought them back into Kenya. I had gotten them to be deported out of this country because what they were doing to our athletes. So, yes, there is challenges, in, and, and I'm very passionate about this issue. It's, it's a very painful thing because most of the economy of Wasingishu County actually rides on these athletes. Okay. They're the ones who bring in money to our country, All right. into our county. They're the ones who've built the big buildings. They're the ones who have set up businesses and so on. So if this collapses, it's scary. And, this, and I remember last year, we ran a risk as Kenya from being barred from going to Paris 2024. Yes. Mm. The, and I remember at that time, I was involved in a flurry of activity because I was terrified. I said, if we can't go to Paris, then Wasingishu County economy is finished because that is what we depend on.